Welcome to another video tutorial of S7300 PLC. In this video tutorial we will see how status LED of S7300 PLC are working and how we can diagnose problems in S7300 PLC using these status LED. Before starting today's tutorial please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay connected with this channel and get notification of new video tutorials. System Fault It indicates there is an error in the system, this error could be software error like an error in programming or hardware error like a power loss of one of the input modules and CPU is unable to read data from the input modules. How to fix the system faults? Check the power supply of the input and output modules. Look for any short circuit in the I.O. devices connected to I.O. modules. Open the hardware diagnostics in the Cymatic Manager or TIA portal to see alarm buffer to spot the reason of system fault. Bus fault. It indicates that there is an error in the system network, like a bad contact in one of the communication connectors or there is an overlap between the addresses in the network configuration. How to fix bus fault? Check supply of all slaves. Address of slave on Profibus is wrongly adjusted. Wrong position of the switch for end resistant on the bus plug. Check all switches on the complete bus system. Seriously follow the cable from PLC to the last slave. First plug and plug of last slave must be set on all other plugs to off. Go online with hardware configuration of the CPU. Here you can find exact issues related to bus fault. Maintenance LED Whenever this indicator energized this means that the CPU is not working anymore and needs a service, but this is rarely happening. DC 5 volt LED This LED indicates that there is a 24 volt DC provided to the CPU. Force it indicates that at least one of the PLC inputs or outputs is forced or on or off. Run Run mode is on whenever the CPU is working properly without any troubles and flashes in the startup of the CPU. Stop when the CPU is in stop mode or there is a software or hardware error. MIS LED It blinks when inserting the memory card or when the memory reset is being carried out. That's today video tutorial I hope you like it please subscribe to my channel for more videos till next video take care and goodbye.